Right now, a mother of three children is searching for a brand new job to feed her family after she was fired over a post that she put on Facebook. And she says her post only updated her friends and family about her 14-year-old's medical condition. The question now, did her employer violate her rights to free speech? Craig Bell joins us here in studio with the details all new at 6. I'll tell you what, according to one employment attorney I spoke with today, her rights have been trampled. Just this past December, the National Labor Relations Board ruled that Facebook posts are protected speech as long as workers aren't making harassing threats or doing this via social media. Like millions of Americans, Misty Robertson joined Facebook to stay in touch. To keep a hold of friends from out of town, family from out of town, be able to see pictures, what they're doing. Robertson never thought the social media site would cost her her job as a clerical worker for Harbor and Clinic Pediatrics. I'm in a state of shock. Um, I was at the time and I still am. But it did. Back on October 8th, Robertson was terminated after her employer claimed she violated the company's social media policy by posting that Harbor and Clinic could not treat her sick child. I posted on my Facebook wall that <clears throat> after being at the immediate care for two and a half hours, somewhat, um, that she, um, I finally had answers to what was wrong with Allie's fever, to my daughter's 104 fever because work had no appointments. Can you believe it? That's when Robertson's friends all chimed in expressing their dismay. So there was like 30 something comments on there, people stating, you know, that's why we left Harbin Clinic because we never could see our physician, our, they never had appointments, they never could get us in. And so I seen all that and I went in and immediately deleted the post. Mm -hmm. Because why did I didn't delete it? because I didn't want, want that negative about <laughs> that's not what I was trying to do. I was just what trying to let you? everybody know that my child was sick and that I had answers. Well, I was concerned for several reasons. One, Attorney Amanda Farahani specializes in employment right law and is very concerned that Robertson's former employer trampled her free speech rights. One, it um, was another situation where a woman is being fired for something that she put on Facebook on her own private information where other people are engaging in conversations with her. Farahani um, says as long as Robertson <laughs> isn't threatening or harassing people, she can speak her mind. How hard has it been for you? Hard. It has. I've had patients calling me, emailing me, Facebooking me. I mean, it's embarrassing. You know, I feel like I've been wronged here and I've not done anything. Clinic says uh, it could not talk about this policy, but it says she's violated this specific one. Employees are expected to uphold Harbor and Clinic's values, respect individuals, and avoid making defamatory and disrespectful or harassing statements about employees, physicians, patients, affiliates of Harbor and Clinic. Now, we asked that Harbor come on camera for an interview today. They declined, citing their policy not to speak publicly about personnel issues. We're live in the studio tonight. Craig Bell, CBS, Atlanta News.